So today is all about helping this little hero here, who is so pathetic that he can barely beat a training dummy and then immediately dies on the next one. But at least he gets a level up so we can give him a little more attack. And then we send him back in to see how much better he does. And he's able to survive a few more seconds, at least until we get him a weapon, which is a stick. And that allows him to take out the training dummies in two hits, which lets him move on to the cow, who takes him out right away. But now he gets an extra tunic and a shield, so the cow doesn't do as much damage damage against him but the rat just bit him in the ankle so that was rude let's get him some more health and give him an even better tunic and shield really not sure why these training dummies are fighting back they're specifically for training but the cow is able to go down but we still have the rat to deal with at least now once we have better things we can put the extra items in a cauldron which gives us a potion for extra attack and his defense is pretty lacking right now so let's go ahead and give him some more defense and the training dummies almost go down in one hit that's a lot better than we started with and the rat still is very powerful but hey we got a skill point so we can give him better health or attack let's go ahead and get him some more attack although that only raises it up by one point so let's start with health for now we can change that later and we're getting next to no damage from the dummies which is good oh the cow is almost one hit and then we have a horse to contend with pretty soon that is ridiculous but now we get another potion for more attack aha now the attack bonus is doing something giving us three extra points instead of just one this should be enough to take out the cows in one hit so we just march up to you and there we go one hit the rat still does a fair bit of damage but at least the cows aren't able to okay now how's the horse gonna hold up oh okay horse has a lot of health let's give our hero some more health especially with this tunic and we can level up for even more attack we're almost doing a hundred attack now that's amazing i think this should solve our rat problem yes cows and rats have nothing and then the horse should go down in hopefully three hits oh we beat the horse and we get a treasure chest the boots of truth now you can jump i don't know what truth has to do with that but now we get an even better shield than we had and a better tunic and a better weapon so all this together should give us a new potion for wow a lot of attack i like it 118 is what we got right now so we have the boots whoa he's jumping Whoa, he's got some hops, and now we're dealing with pigs. But, okay, this pig attacks very quickly. Wow. At least we got another skill point. We could put it towards defense, but that doesn't offer us much. There's the chance for a critical hit. I like the sound of that. And the better tunic as well. And let's go ahead and boost his defense through this. So now he has a chance for a critical hit with all of his attacks. Thankfully, this pig here isn't any trouble. Ooh, there's a crit. Okay, now we dealt with that one, and we move on to another one of the same. That pig has a cannon on his back. Oh, nice. And we get a magic rune. Allows you to level up at any time. Like a rare candy. How about some more defense? We need to get this stat boosted up pronto. But we get a nice tunic to help us with our HP. Now, if we take off the critical and put on the defense, we get 91 defense. That might be better than having crit chance. Not that we'll really be able to find that out on this pig, but it looks like we took no damage. Okay, that went a lot quicker than last time. Maybe the crit chance is worth it. So we go through one pig with a crit. Very nice. And another crit right there. And we still have half of our health, which is good. Now, that is still a problem. I can only get so far with better tunics game. I need shields. And defense now we should hopefully okay i think the other issue is not taking out those pigs fast enough because this guy still messes me up pretty badly when i'm not critting but look at that attack power that's almost double what i had so now our attack is 151 and the defense boosts way up too so now all of our stats are above 100 that's very good and we get a potion for more hp i'd like to see what the pigs do now you're one hit and you're two hits without crits i don't know how you rhyme like that but now we take out you and we move on to you and okay cannon pig is already joining the fray i don't like that so i'm thinking we could either lean into attack so we take them out sooner or health to last longer how about more health i swear if those pink pigs survive with like one hp point remaining i'm gonna be upset and okay it's more than one hp it looks like but they're still doing quite a bit of damage to me i just want to do oh crit oh we got through them yes and we picked up a bow and we got a skill point with more things <gasps> hp regen yes please so we got a bow now look at this 125 power and we get one arrow out of that neat swords with stats above 100 as well as a shield with the same is gonna be very good for me so we'll regenerate health every second and we have a bow that we can use to shoot things not sure who i want to use it on yet though these pigs almost go down but look at the health regen i like that now we just gotta freeze you whoa 
Did we just freeze the cannonball? I think we did. And then shoot the pig. Okay, there's pigs showing up behind us, but at least we can turn to face them and they still take us out. But now we have a third magical rune. This gives us four good items. We might as well use it now or maybe after I equip some things. So a 200 power bow, that's incredible. A 120 shield and that's the best we can get. So let's clear these level up for more attack, and then use the chest for four good items. Oh, these are very good items. Better shield, sword, and tunic. Too bad there's no bow in there. We have a potion now for better defense. So we take out you in one hit and you in one hit. You still deal damage, but we should get most of it back before we move on to the next fight. And then you hit me twice, which is annoying. But then we shoot you. Let's fire at those pigs. Yes, we got through one of you. And oh, crit on you. Excellent. Hey. Oh, that's a big pig. Oh my gosh, he deals a lot of damage. Let's just go ahead and level up our health for that and get better power on the bow. And it seems to be all that we can improve this time. I'm just glad I can get through all these pigs without any worry. And we're keeping a lot more health against the cannon pig, which is good. Now, if we face you, yes, we're taking down you in one hit before you can even do anything. Still doesn't give me a lot of health for going against this pig, but we just... Mm. Oh, hello. Magical rune four. Infernal helmet with double attack. Ooh. Whoa, look at this tunic. 200 HP. Wow. I like that. Especially since I can put all this in there and level up for... How about a bit more attack power if we're going to get double attack? And then we equip the helmet like this. Oh, look at him go. So double attack. Does that mean double damage? Oh, it means double damage. Oh, boy. 640 on the crits. That is amazing. And taking out the cannon pig in one hit. We're keeping a lot more health against the boss. And then we just freeze you and shoot you. And then work our way through you. Oh, no, it's still not enough. And we only have that for one more turn. But we're getting a better shield, which is good, and better armor. It's too bad I can't keep this helmet. I feel like it'd be very beneficial. But, you know, 500 damage is also a good thing. And we're able to regenerate almost all of our health. But before we get to that row of pigs, and each of these is no problem at all. Okay, we're going in with more than half health. Let's shoot you, freeze you. And then let's see some crits, please. Oh, yes, we got him. We took out the big pig and we get a tricky bomb. Now we can double jump. Ooh. Again, I'm not sure why a bomb is the one that equates to a double jump, but at least we're getting better sword finally. So that's over 200. Now, where can my guy go with a double jump? Whoa, way up to the icy region with a saber tooth wolf. He's attacking very fast, but we can still take him out, which is good. And then, oh, there's a portal right there. And that's a big thing. Shoot you. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a little tricky. At least we can take out this wolf. No problem. And let's use everything we have against the big guy here. Shoot you and then freeze you. So we can hopefully take you out of the crit. Oh, so close. Close enough for an attack upgrade, maybe? I just realized our attack is over 400. I love that. Well, hi. Magical room five. Golden Fleece with double health. I think I'll just take that right now. At least I get stronger tunic and bow. 500 power on the bow? That is amazing. And so is extra HP from this. So just how much more power is this bow? Ooh, almost dealing half damage to this thing. We can take him out before he's done being frozen. That's very good. But also these wolves are just obnoxiously low res. But now we get Link's tunic right there and the super big sword right there. And the shield is the exact same, so it goes into the pot. And now let's go ahead and get some more attack, I think. Because that combined with the new sword should mean we go through this wolf a lot quicker. Yes, two hits without crits. And then we fight the bear, freeze the bear. Ooh, 700 crit. Okay, shoot the arrow back at you. Oh, the arrow critted. We got through both of those wolves, yes. Now we get through you, no problem. And then, is this the boss up here? Oh, it's another wolf right there. Run away, run away. Oh, no. Wow, but the progress we made gives us even better equipment. Like a fun fur cloak right there. And some magic looking shields that are blue. Da ba dee da do. You know you're making progress when your character gets a wardrobe change. And we're also retaining a lot more health thanks to the new HP and defense increases. Now, ideally, I'd be able to get through that bear without having to freeze him. But it also looks like I need to shoot the arrow at those wolves to get through them. But getting farther still means we get better equipment. So now we're able to get through those wolves just fine. And I think we can take out this wolf perfectly good. But we have next to no health for fighting this next one. That's not good. All right. I decided to speed past these cooldowns so we can get an extra skill point. That, ooh. 
We can put towards burn? I like the sound of that. But then also getting some better items. And they're way better than what we have. Look at this power on the bow. It's almost a thousand. And then a better sword and a better tunic. And we're doing way better all around. That didn't take long. Sets fire to enemy and harms by fire continuously. So we walk up to the wolf and he's burning. Okay, it does four damage. Does that scale to my damage or their damage? I think it scales to theirs. So we can burn you and then get through you. We have a lot more health now. Oh, yes, we're doing way better. And that wolf is chasing us now. But we got to get through you. And wow, you're strong. And it looks like the cooldowns restart on this. Let's just activate both of them because why not and get a free level. And extra defense because I don't know what my stats are. Okay, so HP is the low one right now. Our guy is looking super tough right now. Hopefully tough enough to take out these things. There, ooh, a thousand damage there. How's that stack against the bear? Okay, two hits on that, but still keeping up a lot of our health because it's frankly doubled. Then we should be able to deal with you fine, and then you, oh yes, we're just burning through them right now, literally. Oh, it's a frost giant sort of troll thing. Wow, okay, he deals a lot of damage. Oh my goodness. And look at the loot that we got from that a thousand power bow. That is insane. And we need extra HP. So now that I know what to expect i know where i can use the freeze ability just because i want to get to that portal in that door whichever happens first and these poor wolves are literally burning to death and he has his stumpy little legs it's ridiculous okay fire the bow at you and then freeze you which seems like a very weird thing to do. Oh man, it's gonna be close. Oh no! Here we go. Armor is looking a lot better now with 624 there and 600 shield. So now all of our stats are over a thousand. Should keep my guy alive for a little bit longer. Still could use a better sword though. Although the burn damage is really nice against these smaller wolves and taking out both of those at the same time is always satisfying. Okay, let's generate the potion first and see where that gets us. Extra defense. Okay. Thing right now I need more attack power so i can work my way towards one-shotting all these smaller enemies the only unfortunate thing here is that the timing of my attacks doesn't bode well with these wolves because they still do a bit of damage to me but okay arrow good damage freeze you get some crits please crits please crits please no all right potion which one are bleach what is this drain some of the enemy's health at time of hit Ooh, it's only one percent but i like that so putting that up against the bear, and I'm getting 13 health back on hit. At least sometimes. That should hopefully keep me a little bit longer alive against the troll. Shoot you, and then freeze. 99 on the leeching? What? Okay, that did it. Yeah, we got a green portal potion. Now we can open the green portal. And to nobody's surprise, all the gear that we get from that is worthless. So that can just all go away. And then green portal, there it is. So that's what this is. And there's a rock here. Uh oh, dangerous bugs, danger bugs. Ah, they hurt. Okay, well, that's a whole other thing of challenges. But we were able to get super leveled up and make it even farther than we could before. And I think that'd be appropriate for another video. So if you guys enjoyed this one, then be sure to let me know. Thank you for watching and sub to intern. And thank you channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Deviant X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Spider Sacks, Real Nickname, Edward, Hateful Harold, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angels, Lily Bites, Levi, and the Miner Within.